today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruel to be YouTuber that talk a lot about makeup. And today I'm doing a tag video. This is kind of an old tag. This is made by Kelly Gooch and I will leave her down in the description her channel and her video. But this is if I could only keep one. And I have done videos where I've talked about if I could only keep 10 palettes, if I can only keep 10 brushes. But this tag is if I could only keep one from each category. And <laughs> I watched Kelly's video and she was like, not necessarily is going to be like your favorite product because you have to have just one that will f go with everything. So I have picked out some things and I'm going to show them to you and explain why. And some of these things I'm like 100% certain of. Some of these, I have no idea if I'm saying the correct, if I have taken the correct product, but I think we just get started. So I'm going to start with the face things and then we're going over to the eyes and then the lips or maybe base lips and then eyes because eyes is maybe the most fun. I don't know. We start with the base. So for primer, I am going to take one, but two, but one. But okay, I can show you. Uh, I would pick the Dewy Skin Primer Oil from Beauty Act. This isn't like a summer primer for me, but I am so dry on winter time, so. I need this with the foundation I picked, so that is why I picked this one. I really like it, it's really good, it m works amazing together with the foundation I picked. But I also picked this one, but this one as a setting spray, but I can use it as a primer. I'm not cheating, no. So I would pick these two, this for a setting spray and also primer in the summer, and this as autumn and winter primer because other than that it's not going to work. So the foundation I picked, I really love this foundation. I don't know if it is my absolute favorite but I took the Stay Naked from Urban Decay. And why I took this is because it works really good in the summer for me. It works really good in the winter for me if I use the primer oil. And I have maybe the good thing that I am as pale as this all year round. I never get tanned so I, I use the same foundation all year round. And I would pick this because if I use it with a sponge I get a really, really lighter, more natural cover. I can have it really really sheer if I want to with a sponge but if I want like full coverage or maybe not full but more coverage I just use foundation brush. So Jesus. That is why I picked this one, because I can use it both on like, if I only want the base and nothing else, or if I want to be like full glam, I can use this. It is one of my favorite foundations, but it's not my favorite, but I would pick this one. Then my concealer I would pick. This was like the easiest. I would pick this one from Body Shop. This is the Fresh Nude Serum Concealer. I love this. This is a really thin concealer. It's kind of watery and it doesn't give that much coverage but it gives me what I need and it doesn't dry out my under eyes. I have problems with that in the winter because this face is so dry. And it yes is really good and I can have this on only if I just want something and I think it covers enough for like this kind of face as well. So I would pick this as my concealer. And I can really recommend this. They don't have many colors. This is actually too dark for me. Uh, this is in light, the lightest one. But because it is so sheer, it works really good. The next thing is powder. And <laughs> this was also so easy. And I would use the close up powder from Nabla. This, I love this powder. I actually hit the pan in this a couple of days ago. I think you can see it. This small little pan there. I love this powder. I usually don't like pressed powder, but this one, it is 
amazing. This is a smoothing pressed powder and I guess that this is not supposed to be good for a dry face but for me it works really really good and it works with all the foundations I've tried it with. It just looks amazing so this is kind of the only powder I use now so this is the one that I would keep. Now I'm going to take contour, highlighter and blush. Contour was easy. I would keep this one. This is the Charisma Contour Palette in Cool and Light from Kaleidos. This has been the only one I've used since I got this in... Was it September maybe? It looks like this. It doesn't like even show that I've used this color like a crazy person. But I have. I love it. I think it's maybe five times that I haven't used this. So I would definitely keep this one. I think it's just an amazing product and I love that it feels like it's going to hold for a really long time because it doesn't look that I even used it so I think it was, will hold up. I will have this for a long time. For blush, this was actually kind of hard at first. I was thinking about taking a palette, my Moon Prism palette from Luna Beauty, but it's six blushes in that one, so that it's cheating. And then it was a little bit harder. I didn't know if I was going to choose one from Nabla or this one that I took, and I took Downroy from The Balm. I took this because I think this works for everything. It works with a warm look, it works with a cold toned look, it works with just... If I just step in the brush once and put it on, it's a really sheer blush, but I can also build it up. So I think I would get so much use out of this and I think I would be happy with this choice if I just took this as my only blush. This scenario will never happen though. I will not only keep one of each product, but if I had to, this would be the blush. And for the highlighter, this was actually pretty easy. I would choose Nabla Ozone. I love this. This is buildable. This is just amazing. I love Nabla's highlighters. And I think this is also one of these products. It works with an everyday, it works if you want to be full glam, it works with all eye looks and it's just an amazing shade and it's an amazing formula. I will keep this. So what should we take next? Should I go into lips? It's only free lip products because I used a bullet lipstick, a liquid lipstick and a gloss. So for my bullet lipstick I would keep I think this one, this is Pink Opal from Linda Holberg. This is a really <laughs> light pink with a little bit of sheen to it, or a lot of sheen. This is one of my most used lipstick. It looks like this, and this is one that I can use if I don't have any other makeup on. It still looks really good. So I would choose this as my lipstick. And this, I can tell you, this was so much harder to choose my lipsticks than to choose my eyeshadow palette. And the gloss I would pick is this from Body Shop. This is Apple Taffy. I actually really like this one. I use it not a lot on camera. I don't know if I've used it once on camera even, but I've used it outside of YouTube. It's just... It's a little bit brownish, maybe apple-ish <laughs> or peachy and this is really comfortable. It's sticky but it's not too sticky and it holds up pretty good and it feels really good on the lips. So this is the lip gloss that I would keep. And then for my liquid lipstick. I do not know if I made the right choice. If this ever would happen, I might cry. I, I think this was the hardest one. But I felt that like I must pick a red one. And then 
it didn't make it easier with that decision because I love red lips, but I came to the conclusion that I would keep rumors from Nabla. This is one of my absolute favorite reds and I love the Nabla formula. This is one of these red. It's not too dark and it's not too light. I would love to take like a really deep, deep, deep red, like unspoken from Nabla, but do I always want to have a really deep red? Maybe not. So then this is this is perfect. This is such a nice red. I love this. I can recommend this to all of you and this would be the one that I keep. So let's go into the eyes. For my eyebrows, I haven't actually chosen a product. I've used a lot of different powders. I don't know which one is my favorite. I like the one I have now. I don't know if it would be the one that I picked, but maybe. It is the Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo in taupe. As you see, I hit pan in the lighter shade. So maybe I would keep this, but we can say this just because I have it here. I like it, but it's powder for my eyebrows. Eyeshadow base. This was also so easy. I would 100% keep the Milani eyeshadow primer. This is the best eyeshadow primer I have ever used. I am surprised it is not empty yet, but it's not super much left in this, but this works with every single eyeshadow I have ever used it together with this. It hasn't made them like disappear, it hasn't like faded, it gives like the color payoff is really really good. I really really love this one, this is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer I have ever used. I would keep this forever. If they ever discontinue this, I'm going to hunt you down. Yes, you know. So I also wanted to pick an eyeliner and this. And this was hard because I have all these fun colors. But then I was like, okay, if I only could use one color, maybe not like a super strong yellow is the way to go. So I was so boring and took this one. This is Honey Dude, Honey Drip. Honey Dude from Colourpop. It's one of their creme gel liner. I love this. This just gives you like you look awake. If you looked much on or when I started to watch YouTube and makeup channels like five, six years ago, it was a lot of focus like you should look awake, take something light in your waterline and it will make your eyes bigger, you will look more awake, it will look just amazing. It isn't like that anymore, not in the community that I am, but it works, um, it does. So I'll pick this because I think this would work with every eyeshadow color I have. It would just look good. So boring choice, but I think it's the way to go. For mascara, if I only could use one, keep one. Uh, this I have decluttering this because it's dried up and it's discontinued, but it's the essence you better work length definition mascara. This is amazing. This is the cheapest mascara I've ever bought. It's the best one I've ever used. It didn't came off at all. It gave length to my lashes and it just looked really good. I really like the brush as well, but it like dried up so fast. It, the strange thing is it doesn't look dried up and it like sound not dried up, but it like comes nothing. So maybe it's just a little bit dry and not that much left, but this one, I'll keep. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't buy, I only bought one. It's like three dollars and I bought one. And okay, for eyeshadow palette. This was a hard one. Um, usually I most, I often use colorful eyeshadow and I love that, but to be realistic, um, when I go out to eat, I usually don't look like this. 
because this I don't know how to say this so it doesn't sound strange but like my YouTube makeup is like my more like therapy and what makes me let me be creative but it's not what I always look the best in it's not always what I want to go out with I live in a with Sweden me measurements, it's not such a big, a small city. And like American measurements, it's like a tiny city. And one thing I don't like is when people look at me. And I know if I would go like this in my town, people would stare the shit out of me. And some days I'm fine with that. I don't care. I have gone out like this. I have gone to the store like this. I have gone out eating like this. It's not that, but it's not always that I want it. Before when I had a side cut as well, people stared. Yes, you know, they still do because I look like this in my ears and my nose, but yeah. Okay, <laughs> long explanation for this, but so yeah, I didn't want to take like a super colorful palette and I want to take something that I can do colorful with but that I also can use like in everyday if I don't want anybody to look at me because I look apparently crazy. I hope you get what I mean. And this was so hard. But I took of the secret palette from Nabla. I know you must hate this one because I talk about it always. It looks like this. One thing that I really love about this. It has black and I know that I would want black. It has kind of many like more neutral colors but they are really good and they aren't as boring as they might look. It has this one like my favorite kind of shimmer like a goldy goldy orange whatever. I just love it. And then it has some colorful shimmers. It has a pink, it has a bluish purple, it has a green, it has this duochrome green and pearl I might would say but like a white and green duochrome. So I think I would be happy with this one. It also have like a matte pink and this like teal shade. So I think I could get kind of funny looks out of this, colorful looks, and also neutral, easy looks. So I think this would be the palette that I would keep. And yeah, <laughs> that is all for this tag. Some bits were so easy, some bits really hard. I think eyeshadow palettes and liquid lipsticks was the hardest one, maybe even the liquid lipsticks. Yeah, I really hope you liked this video and don't forget to check out Kelly Gooch that has come up with this tag. It was a long time ago. I don't know how old that video was that I was checking out, but I just searched for makeup tags and yeah, I wanted to do this. So if you want to do this, do it. I would love to see what you would keep. And yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!